Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, quick video for you here about playback from Trinity Rock and Pop exams, initial, as in the grade before grade one, to grade two. Now this is the part at the end of your exam, or typically at the end, you can actually do it in any order you like, I think, but typically it's at the end. You've played your three pieces, and then it's time for the session skills test. You're either going to choose improvising, and I've got a ton of videos about improvising, I'll link to all those in the description below, or you're gonna choose playback. Now playback is literally playing back note for note, drumming that you hear. So you get in the first three grades here, you get a blast two bars of drumming and then you play back note for note exactly what you just heard. You get a blast of another two bars of drumming and you play it back and so on like that. So it's like um, it's like Simon says, right? Except there's no there's no trick. You just play back exactly what you've heard. And this recreates, I think, uh, what, like I'm a working drummer, like what working drummers often have to do, not all the time, but often have to do, which is learn parts note for note, right? Sometimes it's written out my experience, like some of the time I do that, maybe definitely less than half of the time, but some of the time the parts are written and other times you're just listening to it and you've got to put it together a note for note. And I always think like this is a really crucial skill actually. And this is, in my experience, one of the rarer skills that drummers develop, but it is a really cool like high leverage skill uh, because what it, what it allows you to do is do a lot of stuff that other drummers can't do. So if you, you, you'll get yourself hired for stuff where you need to play note for note. It's like if you're playing the classics, I think if it is about being an actor on stage, right? If you get a gig in a Shakespeare play, you're not gonna rock up and suddenly start like improvising. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of times in the theatre in performance when you are required to be creative and improvise, and that's lovely. I'm not knocking that for a second. I love all that, of course I do. But sometimes it's time to turn up and play, or in that case, say your lines. Do you know what I mean? Like just recreate a part. And that's what this is all about. So uh, the music is written out. So you see it written on the page and you hear it as well. So whatever your way of doing it is, and for me, it's definitely a combination. I just use both of those ways. Uh, then that's the way you can do it. What you really need to be on top of, if you're going, especially if you're going to read it, is your note values, right? Your music theory for drummers. And in the first three grades, it's like crotchets, quavers, semi-quavers, oh, and minims as well. So half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Now, one of the things I haven't really ever done on this channel is gone into the, like theory loads and loads. I talk about it like in context, and I've always been quite keen to just get playing. And, and when I've brought theory in, it's just in the context of what we're doing. And actually what I'm gonna do, because I'm out of the studio for, a, for just a short period of time right now, I'm gonna take that time to do a whole ton of like theory for drummers type stuff. I'm still gonna do loads of playing, don't worry, I'm gonna do V-drum videos, and I'm also gonna do some, um, I'm gonna to go to a different studio and just record some acoustic kit as well. But in the meantime, I'm gonna throw up a load of theory videos, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go right from the beginning, doing a whole little course for you about, yeah, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, note values, rests, time signatures, all the cool stuff you'll need to know. So basically, long story short, that's the number one thing you can do to really get your skills up for this, especially if you're gonna look at the, the music, which I'd really recommend doing. If you're gonna look at the music and read it, those are the things you need to be on top of, basically, because you need to know what you're looking at. Um, the other thing you can do, obviously, is hear it. And to some extent, that's, that's great. I, I totally use a combination of the two. Uh, I kind of find it interesting, and it's certainly not my experience of learning that a drummer would just like do one or the other, like you either play by ear or you read. I've always just been into both, man. Like reading music is an awesome skill. It opens up tons of doors. It allows you to do a load of gigs that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. For me, it allows me to, to learn a load of music like way more quickly, like orders of magnitude more quickly than I would do otherwise. But also like, of course, we're in the business of hearing, man. That's what this whole thing is. It's like listening and like, it's so totally, totally need to be able to pick up these things by ear as well. So in order to practice this, besides all the theory stuff, which as I say, stay tuned for and will come up soon. And as soon as it is, by the way, I'll link it below this description. So if you're watching this video, like in the future, like not in the end of November, 2019, I'll, I'll have done these and I'll stick in the description below. What I'm, uh, what I'm gonna suggest is just get this book, man, because this is solid gold. This is the book of examples that you need. It, for each grade, there's like 10 examples of playback and improvising. And this is the official like Trinity uh, Rock and Pop Session Skills for Drums book. You guessed it, I'm gonna to link to this in the description below. Besides learning your basic note values, quarter notes, eight, sixteenths, and so on, um, the number one thing you can do is pick this book up and it comes, well, my ones, I've got it a few years ago, and it comes with a CD. I'm, a th I'm thinking now, I'm pretty sure it does come with like a download instead of the audio. And you stick that on and practice it, man. And really, it's like a muscle, man. It's totally like a muscle. That whole thing of like oral perception, hearing, drumming and playing it back, absolutely you can train and get better at with practice. So totally brilliant thing to do. Now, even if you're doing grade one or grade two or even higher and you haven't done much of this, my advice is absolutely, absolutely start at the beginning, right? So go to the initial grade and just, you know, pretty basic stuff, but just you'd be surprised how many people find this tricky at first, but then quite quickly as they repeat, it gets easier and easier and easier. So can't recommend the book enough. Grab yourself that 
and get to work and stay tuned in the next uh, couple of weeks. I'm going to put up a ton of videos about theory for drummers and developing your, your skills there. Thanks so much for wa watching. As always, I'm out of here, man. Thanks again for anyone who's watched these like 530 odd videos or any of them uh, from this studio. I am leaving it right now. Well, I'm going to pack, pack this kit up and go take my sofa to the charity place. But otherwise, I'm out of here. So thanks a million. And uh, please like, share and subscribe. Any questions about anything, give us a shout. I'll see you soon. Um, good luck with your playback. Thanks so much.